Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I have a fun video for you. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my Oliver. And if you're returning, welcome back. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. I'm gonna use some of this um, heat transfer vinyl I got from HTV Rot. I'm gonna use one of these beaded wreaths from Dollar Tree. This is a 10 inch wood round from Hobby Lobby as well as a 14 inch wood round from Hobby Lobby. And then this calendar page that I got from this calendar that I also bought from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna start off by forgetting to turn on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did is I took the big round there and I traced out the heat transfer vinyl with that wood big wood round. Then I traced out uh, the small one in the middle of it and cut it out and then laid it on my wood round here, the big wood round, because I didn't want any of it in the middle so that I could tack down that uh, small wood round. And so then I'm just going to take off the courier sheet and then I cut down some more uh, to add to that bottom. Once it was all on, I went with my little finger sander and sanded off the edges. And then I painted the big, the back of the wood round uh, with my crimson color. After that, I took my page here and I am just cutting it out. And then I'm going to uh, take my Mod Podge and I'm gonna put it on the smaller wood round here, the 10 inch, and I'm just gonna cover the whole front and then I'm gonna set that aside and let that dry. And while that was drying, I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and a big chip brush from Dollar Tree and I'm just going and doing a very, very heavy dry brushing all along these beads on both sides. Then after I was done with that, my uh, glue was all dried, my Mod Podge, so I took, put my picture or my calendar page on top of the wood round and my parchment paper and using my little heat press to get that uh, Mod Podge reactivated so that the page sticks to it. After that, I took some more Mod Podge and put it over the calendar page. This way it is protecting that page. And then once that was all dry, I took my wood glue here and I'm going all the way around the middle part of my bigger wood round with the wood glue. And then I went all around the edge of that wood glue with my hot glue. So I have that immediate hold as well as the permanent hold with the wood glue. And then I'm just gonna add my middle, my smaller sign to the middle there. Then I went around and add, uh, added hot glue or sorry, wood glue in different spots, and then added the hot glue in between the wood glue there. And then I'm just gonna put the beads on top, just like you see me doing there. Then I decided that white was too bright, so I took my Waverly Antique Wax and a baby wipe, and I am just going over it, just wiping it on. That way it just gave it a little more darker, rustic look. And then I took some of this braided jute cord that I have. I have that in my Amazon store, but I love this stuff. I use it all the time. And I'm just using my hot glue here and I'm gonna just hot glue it all the way around that smaller wood round that's in the middle. And then once I was done with that, I'm gonna do the same thing with the big wood round. I'm just gonna go all the way around it with that uh, braided jute cord and just hot glue it just to kind of give it a finished edge. And then once I am done with that, I am going to take some boxwood greenery from Walmart. And then this, I think was just called greenery, it has some kind of yellowish flowers with them um, from Dollar Tree and I put them together. And then I took some burlap. This burlap I got from Hobby Lobby. I cut it in half because it's really wide <clears throat> and I'm hot gluing the two ends together. And then I am going to make a bow with it. So I'm just going to scrunch it up in the middle. And I'm gonna take this other piece here. These are gonna be the tails and I'm just kind of scrunching it behind it and so that I can include it when I add my twine to tie them together. And then after I have this all tied together, I'm going to dovetail the ends and uh, dovetailing you just fold in half and then uh, cut at an angle. After that, I took some of this ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just making a bow by doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up in the middle, and then I'm just tying it together with the burlap bow with some 
um, twine. And then once I am done with that, I'm going to dovetail the ends of that red one bows too and our red ribbon oh my goodness anyways then I took the zip tie and I put it in between those beads where they are connected and then I'm going to stick my greenery in the middle of it and my bows in the middle of it and then I'm just going to attach um, them to my sign with that zip tie and I'm just fluffing everything here and then cutting off that extra part of the zip tie that I don't need and then I decided I wanted to make some holes to hang it with. So I used my crop a dial, made two holes, and then I'm going to use some of that same jute rope cord and to make a hanger. And that's all there is for this. I really loved how this came out. I just, oh, I'm excited about it. You have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below. Okay, I want to take this moment to thank all my subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed and you're watching and you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button. Become part of our family. And ways you guys can support my channel is, of course, giving me that thumbs up and commenting and watching those ads. Those all help me out. And then if you want to buy me a coffee, you can find the link in the description box as well as links to all of these social media accounts that I have if you would like to join me there as well. Okay, here is DIY number two. So for this DIY, I'm gonna take two of these 12 inch chunky uh, slats from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take these three animal cutouts, farmhouse animal cutouts that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use my uh, chalk paste Chalk Couture chalk paste in the color bright white. I'm also gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And then I'm going to use this transfers from Dollar or Chalk Couture. It's called Trust in Timing, I think. Um, and this is a house cutouts, I believe, tile pattern, house cutout tile pattern. And then this one is brand new. This one is called the Vintage Rose, I believe. And this is just beautiful. I need to use it more. It's just, it's just beautiful. Anyways, okay. So I'm going to start off by putting gluing those two slats together so I'm using my wood glue here and then I'm going to use hot glue um, to attach them together and then after they are attached I don't show this but I did use some um, 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 spackling <laughs> to go over the edges and then I painted everything with my ink color after it was all dry, I took this transfer from Chalk Couture. I am fuzzing it because this is the first time I used it. If you're not familiar with Chalk Couture, it is an adhesive transfer that has a silk screen in the middle. And we, um, first time we use them, we do fuzz it so that it doesn't stick so much that it pulls up the paint and stretches the um, transfer out. So after I had it where I wanted it, I took my white chalk paste and added it. And then I did go around and add more of that on there. And then I'm taking this cutout from the house tile cutout um, transfers and I cut this part out and I'm adding this one to the pig again, just adding it with my squeegee going over all of those open areas and getting it all nicely covered. Um, if you have never tried Chalk Couture and if it looks interesting to you, let me tell you, I love it. It is so easy and, and always makes everything look so high end. Um, I am a designer, so if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to email me or ask me questions in the comments. Um, but I do have links in my description box for my site so that you can go check it out if you'd like to. I do recommend a lot of times our Club Couture it is $21.99 a month and you get a free 8 by 11 extensive uh, transfer with three uh, chalk paste, single chalk paste that come with it. And um, you get uh, one of those every month. Um, you do have to sign up. If you sign up, you do have to sign up for at least three months before you can cancel your subscription. But it is a great way to get started and try it out to see if it's something you really enjoy. I love it. I just love how easy it is and how nice it always turns out. But anyways, you can check out the links in my description box. So here I'm just going over the vintage rose um, 
transfer on my cow here and I am just trying to get it all nice and covered. Um, I did have to go over, this one I didn't, but the pig one I did have to go over and just kind of add a few um, more areas because it didn't completely cover um, my pig or my chicken, but I got them um, all covered and I absolutely love the way these came out. And here's the reveal. I couldn't, wasn't sure where to touch it <laughs> without touching the face. So once I had my transfers all washed off, I came back and, and once they were dry, I added some wood glue and hot glue to the bottom of my animals. And I am just hot gluing them onto my uh, two chunky slats there. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? I, I, I really love how these came out. I just, oh, they're so pretty. Anyways, uh, once I have this on there, I decided I wanted to put some florals in the in between. So I took some of this floral foam. I'm hot gluing them in between the animals. And then I'm just going to add a little hot glue on top and add some moss. And boy, did this make a mess, you guys. Oh my goodness, it was a mess. But anyways, once I had it covered, I took some of my boxwood greenery and I'm going to just start sticking them into those um, floral foam. Now, this got to looking really bushy. So I did end up taking them off and cutting the pieces down even more and so that they weren't so high and bushy looking and I really love the way it came out it came out much better but once I had that I had some of these red flowers from Dollar Tree and I'm sticking them in there but I did the same thing with them I ended up cutting them off of their little stems and just gluing them in and oh you guys I love this you'll have to let me know what you think about this one but I absolutely adore these and I just love the way this came out Okay, it is a time for celebration of your recreation. And Jane, oh, your wood rounds are awesome. I love them all. Thank you so much for sharing them with me. And then we have um, these two sweet little things from Tina. They are for her kitchen. I love them. They are so adorable. Thank you so much, Tina. And then Mary, she's been busy making her Valentine's Day stuff. I love them. Thank you so much, Mary. And if you have a creation or recreation that you would like to showcase or for me to showcase, you can send me pictures through my email address that's listed there, or you can send them to my uh, Facebook Messenger or Instagram, and I'd be more than happy to showcase them for you. Okay, so here's DIY number three. I only have three DIYs for you today, but that's okay because I have another video coming on Saturday. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with these craft sticks. They're jumbo craft sticks from Walmart. And then some muslin fabric and some more of this fabric. I got both of those at Hobby Lobby. I got these IOD stamps. I'm going to try them out for the first time. <clears throat> and then two of these boards from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start off by putting those boards together. I took the hangers off and I am going to attach my uh, jumbo craft sticks using wood glue and hot glue and I'm just going to attach them to the back of the sign so that way they um, become one and then uh, I guess I'm going to show you twice so yeah and I do put a generous amount of wood glue because I just really want all of this to stick well I don't want it to come apart um, once I am done with this I'm not going to show you the next one, I promise. <laughs> I kind of cut some of the edges and then start ripping and I rip all the way around that piece. And then I did the same thing with this fabric. I just went and I ripped all the way around. And so it gave you that ripped, worn look. And then I took my stamps and I'm just um, inking them up here. And I'm just going to stamp on my muslin um fabric there and I'm just making sure to push down on every part of the cow and then I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to do the same thing on the with the pig and yes it is kind of light I don't know if it's the kind of ink that I'm using or if this is how it normally is but I like it because I think it looks weathered and it makes it look farmhouse which is stuff that I really love so after I did the pig I'm going to do the same thing with the chicken and um there we go. I just love it. So then I took my Aileen's Tacky Glue and I am just going to tack down the fabric 
Um, I'm just going to go through the whole board and I'm just going to put it all over and then place my fabric down on it. Now, um, those stamps, those IOD stamps, I bought them from a place called Serendipity House LLC. Um, I love working with this company. I've ordered a few things from them and they're always so sweet. They always send me a napkin for a decoupage and I love it. I can't wait to use one of them. But anyways, um, also that has a really cool rabbit on it that I can't wait to use for Easter. So I'm going to do the same thing with this white material. I'm going to use my Aileen's Tacky Glue and I'm just going to tack that on top of the other fabric. And I did the same thing, um, just worked my way all the way down to the bottom part here and then just glued them all on. And then after I have that all done, I took some twine. No, I didn't. I took, this is Distressing Ink. You get it from Hobby Lobby. It's called Distress Oxide. <coughs> Sorry guys, still trying to get over this sinus infection. It's almost gone, but I still have this little bit of this cough. Anyways, I went over uh, with that uh, distressing oxide or just around the edges of that white material. Then I took my uh, jute rope here or jute twine and I'm just wrapping it around three times. I just tied a knot on the ends, hot glued it, wrapped it three times, and then I am going to tie another knot and hot glue this one as well. And I do this on both the top and the bottom of my sign. And then once I had that done, I decided to grab one of these. These I think are like 30 millimeter uh, half beads. I've got the, I got them in a pack of beads from uh, Amazon and I'm just hot gluing them in the middle of my twine. Then I took some more of that fabric, ripped it, and I am going to make a hanger with it. And I'm using my, uh, tapestry needle to pull it through boy it was a, it was not very easy pulling it through anyways once I got it through I just tied knots on the ends tucked the ends under that twine and there it is I really love the way this came out it's simple but yet so farmhouse and I absolutely love it you have to let me know what you think about this one as well and which one was your favorite today and will you be trying to recreate any of them and again if you guys don't have those stamps I know they're kind of expensive you can always use stencils you could use your Cricut you could use um, all kinds of things so don't think that you have to use what I'm using these are just for inspiration so here's the final reveal I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like today's video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up and comment. And I will be back again on Saturday with another video. So with all that being said, you guys have a blessed rest of your week and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.